A capital region business with some deep local roots is now branching out. Ted's Fish Fry says it plans to open a new location in Bolson Spa at the site of the former Pizza Hut on Doubleday Avenue. Renovations will take place this summer, and the restaurant says they'll open in the fall. This is their seventh location. Ted's is celebrating its 75th anniversary this year. And this week will be all eyes on the MVP arena as women's college basketball makes its way right here to the capital region. Upwards of 14,000 fans will be inside that building every day for four days straight. Officials say security, though, is going to be tight. We have city, county, and state law enforcement already working together, and they are in place to make sure things go safe. Games kick off in the Sweet 16 MVP arena on Friday. Now. Big Board Sports with Roger Weiland. And guys, the arena, the reason the NCAA Women's Regional Championships this weekend at MVP Arena creating even more of a buzz in the men's tournament uh, last March is because of that one player. Her name is Caitlin Clark. And for fans to see Clark on Saturday, well, Iowa needed to get past the eight seed West Virginia tonight at Carver Hawkeye Arena in Iowa City, and it would not be easy. Iowa only led by two at the half, third quarter. Here we go, Caitlin knocking back, back-to-back -back threes. The final home game of her Iowa career. She ends up with 32, but West Virginia was not going away. In fact, they tie the game right here at 52 with about 2.50 to go. And Iowa gets a clutch bucket from Sydney Affolder to the rim and won. It was 55-52 Iowa. And that would do it down the stretch. Caitlin Clark hit big foul shots. And the all-time Division I scoring leader, uh, men's or women's basketball, is coming to the Capital Region for the Sweet 16 matchup with Colorado on Saturday at MVP Arena after West Virginia, after beating West Virginia 64-54. Um, but, you know, we knew we gave up a 10 0 run to start the quarter, but this team was never flustered. And I think that just speaks to our experience. And, uh, couldn't be happier for this group. I mean, we wanted to go out on a high note. Our five seniors, these two, um, it's just really special. Like, I'm just proud of, the, proud of them. All right, so Iowa coming. So it was Notre Dame, the two seed. They won this afternoon. UConn beat Syracuse. They get Duke but uh, in the Sweet 16, but that's in Portland, not in Albany, top seed South Carolina, third seed LSU, both won Sunday, and they are coming to the Capital Region uh, this coming weekend. Sienna search for a men's basketball head coach coming to a close. Per sources, Sienna and Jerry McNamara are close to finalizing a deal. That would make G Mac the next head coach in Loudonville, replacing Carmen Massarello, who was let go last week after two years left on his contract. McNamara played at Syracuse from 2002 through 06, part of the school's only national championship. He has been an assistant coach for the past 15 years, 14 of those under Jim Beheim, former head coach Will Brown, you all been head coach Will Brown, and Seattle Hall of Famer Matt Brady are still on the list, but McNamara here is the heavy favorite right now to get the job. The starting backcourt for the Albany men's basketball team, barring the unforeseen, they will not be back next season for head coach Dwayne Killings. You guessed at the portal. Last week it was sophomore guard Amari Marshall entering the transfer portal today. It was his backcourt teammate Sebastian Thomas joining him, the junior transfer from Rhode Island who led U Albany in scoring at 19 points per game is a huge loss. He was the best guards in the conference last season. And then on top of all that, Amsterdam's Marcus Jackson and Will Amica will also enter the portal for you, Albany. Not a great day there for DK. Glenn Spall's phenom Joseph Girard III has at least one more game to play in his college basketball career. JG III, a fifth year grad student at Clemson, will play in the Sweet 16 on Thursday in LA against the two seed Arizona. The six seeded Tigers knocked off the third seed Baylor on Sunday, 72 64. Girard, who spent four years at Syracuse, scored 13 points. He, as he always does, hitting clutch foul shots here in the stretch. Gerard left Syracuse after his senior season, hoping to have a chance to play in the NCAA tournament. And guys, not only is he in the tournament, they've won a couple of games <laughs> and off to the Sweet 16. Nice ending to his college career. Good that, to see him doing well. Yeah. Yes. Our yes. Glens Falls guy. I think locals doing well on the big stage. Yeah, yeah. love it. Thank you, Roger. Last regular forecast here with Winnie. Yeah, no rain or snow tonight. No rain or snow tomorrow. So looking like a good start to our week overnight.